Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a first look at the Crimson Trace CTS-1250. Alright, so here on the table we have the Crimson Trace red dot sight. We have the pistol it's going to go on. This is the M&P 9 2.0. This is not the shield, this is the double stack. This is the compact, so this one is 15 plus 1 once you get it loaded up. We've got the sight here. As you can see, this is the CTS-1250. It is their compact open reflex sight. It has a 3.25 MOA dot, three-year warranty on it, batteries for life with Crimson Trace. I believe they limit that to one a year, but that's going to be more than enough for this one. Uh, we have the industry standard mounting interface, which is the Dr. Cut. We have an externally accessible battery compartment shock impact and water resistant approximate runtime of 50,000 hours on the medium setting so there's all your pertinent info on the exterior of the box so let's open it up so we open it up we've got our user guide in there we've got a little microfiber cloth a crimson trace sticker foam on the top what we got here we've got our installation torch key we've got our adjustment wrench on there these are probably oh that's our battery we have the red dot sight there and we've got three sets of screws for your different mounting options uh, that's everything in the box let's take the little sight out here let's see what we look we've got a nice little dust cover to go over the top of it and there we go there's your external battery compartment here so you don't need to take this off to change the battery and then have to recite it it looks like we're sealed really well here on the bottom so everything is sealed on there unlike some of them that come open especially with ones that you've got the battery down there they're going to be open on the bottom we have our brightness adjustment levels up down we have three night vision compatible settings on here once we get it in and get the battery on and then we have seven other adjustments they so have a total of 10 adjustments on there it is of course adjustable for elevation and windage so since youtube will go absolutely batshit crazy if i install this on camera through the magic of editing we're going to put this on the camera and we'll be right back okay so there it is installed on the pistol for those of you playing at home it was the number three plate for the smith and wesson is the doctor plate and it did take the biggest screws that crimson trace provided here so you can get this straight out of the box from crimson trace you don't have to source down some screws like i've had to do on other stuff and you can get it right on there battery nice and easy to put in I like their little tool here because it gives you your adjustment for the red dot and they also give you the screwdriver here for your battery installation now as we said before it does have 10 total adjustments three of them are night vision compatible and we have seven daylight levels we do have our increase decrease over here you can power this off with a three second hold on the on the dimming button here and then what you can hit either one to turn it back on and it'll come back at the brightness level that you had previously selected and it is a 3.25 moa dot so it's not going to be super huge in there it did when i pumped up the brightness on it it does fuzz out quite a bit and it does appear Quite a bit bigger than the 3.25 so if you wanted a bigger dot you could definitely achieve it with this one so there we are with the dot we've got it right on poor baby yoda over there let's go let's shoot over his head as you can see i've got it turned up quite a bit and that should be all the way up and we do have a very easy to acquire dot on there and there we have it at about a medium setting here you can see that we do have a much smaller dot on the medium so if you wanted to you could pump it up and get yourself a really big dot on there or you keep it on the medium and have a much more manageable 
dot. So other than that, we do have an aluminum housing on here, a glass lens. It does sit up high enough that you are going to need suppressor height sights to co-witness with it. Does not have a groove in the back, so you could use this as your rear sights if you had a gun that eliminated the rear sight like the Canix do on the Elite Executive that I have and the SFX. So there's a first look at the Crimson Trace CTS-1250. Their red dot sight for full-size pistols. They also came out with a micro red dot for the smaller pistols. You can check that out as well. My first impressions here, I like the aluminum. I like the glass. It's easy to put on. I like the external battery on there with the top load on it so you don't ever have to take this off and then re-zero it to put a new battery in it. Crimson Trace has been fantastic with anything that I've used from them previously which is mostly laser grip and they've all worked perfectly. I've never had a problem with any of the Crimson Trace stuff so I'm expecting not to have any problems with this when we get out there on the range and try it out. The couple things I would say about this is I would rather that they went with the RMR cut. RMR seems to be pretty much standard. I wish they'd gone with the RMR on this. I also wish that this was either shake awake or always on. It does shut off after 10 hours. So if you're going to use this, my suggestion if you had this on a carry pistol was when you pick it up in the morning to strap it on. Make sure you touch one of those so that it's on and you may have to touch one throughout the day to keep it going for the whole day. Other than that, I really like it. We're going to get it out there, get it zeroed in, test it out, and I'll give you an update on it when we do that. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button up there. If you'd like to see another video from me, hit that button over there. If you want to see something from one of my friends, Gizzard Gary, Sergeant C4 Defense, or the Gun Snob, or perhaps a playlist from all the hens, hit that button up there.